Witam Was serdecznie. W dzisiejszym kolejnym już odcinku wracamy po wykonaniu zadania w domu Von Ewereków. Two points and be quick about it. Oh, please, good sir, a bit of courtesy. So I look up and Bob's your uncle. He downs half the barrel in one draft. Gerald, over here. Oi, wait, you looks. You's the look of a man who knows how to drink. Thanks. Some other time. Hey, now. Don't make me beg. Show off. Of course I am. Wouldn't you be? Time's a marvelous flavor. And a great spice to use in gingerbread. So, you were listening. Indeed, occasionally I find time manipulation irresistible. Controlling it offers so many appetizing opportunities. Like spiking the soup of unsavory individuals with appropriately ghastly food. So, to what do I owe the pleasure? I wanted to congratulate you. You acquitted yourself splendidly with Holden. In fact, you've almost satisfied your debt. Was supposed to fulfill his three wishes. Did just that. This is where you remove the brand. Could we're even. Nearly. To fulfill the terms of the contract to the letter, you must do one more thing. Draw all gear to the temple of Ilvani. We never discussed that. Oh, but we did. As a man of the world, you should know that every contract contains a catch or two. Small print, which, nevertheless, changes the ultimate meaning of the text. But this applies to oral contracts as well. Recall that I said, and I quote, I believe, however, that all will end well. And once it does, we three shall meet and thank one another for the voyage we shared. End quote. Fulfill your end of the bargain, and I will remove the brand. That was the last time you interrupted me while I was talking to someone. What the devil? Why is there a fly in my suit? It waited. I had an eye out for you. Didn't see you come in. How is it you're here? I'm a witcher. Superhuman quickness. Just one of my many qualities. You tossed this fly in my suit? No. Now listen carefully. Tell your Ataman to come to the Temple of Ilvani. It's south of here. Entrance is inside a cave. <coughs> What's the commotion? Ilvani's temple. Got it? Aye, got it. Hold that! Your friend, the medic, she were here. Ask that you look in on her. Thanks. Good father, the did you see? The crooked path literally is dropped hard. Like oh, a fire. Fire. No, 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 Geralt, good thing you're here. What happened? 
somebody break in? This? Uh, no. Just getting ready to move. What? When, when, where to? Uh, not what I wanted to talk to you about. Or at least not only, but... I'm leaving, Geralt. The Eastern Front beckons. I'm Kedrim bound. So, learn anything about Olgird? Well, I abandoned the books quickly. Decided that if I was going to learn the truth, I'd need to find someone who knows it. Find anyone? Turned out I didn't need to look far. A colleague at the Academy, an assistant to Professor Permathine Shakeflop, claims Olgird von Everett met with the professor multiple times. Apparently, Olgird asked the professor to do some research. The professor got so worked up doing it, he went daffy. Started jealously guarding his notes. Wouldn't even let his assistant look at them. The professor, where'll I find him? Here in Oxenfurt. Cloistered inside his house on Academy grounds. Mage hunters guard his door. Need to talk to this professor. We'll go together. Redanian guards all over the Academy. Doubt you'll get in alone. Guards have never stopped me, you know that. Hmm. Woundies? And I'll have to patch them up. Besides, we might run into a friend, get inside free and easy. So how are things at the Academy these days? You mean since Radovid shut it down? I mean, is it well guarded? Might be all it is. Many of the faculty fled to the far north. The braver ones stayed, but assumed the guises of tailors and laundresses. Why? Just curious. Scholars seem to have adopted mage tactics. They in the same bind? To Radovid, there is little difference between the two. Seems to tolerate you well enough. Because he needs me. For now. So the Eastern Front, and then? Depends where they send me. Wherever it is, take care of yourself. Always do. So don't worry. Halt! By order of King Radovid, no one's allowed inside the academy. Not even lecturers? No one means no one. See, you've become quite the stickler, Norbert. You were much kinder when I was patching you up. By the way, how's your knee? Fine. Dandy. As if no arrow ever struck it. Consider yourself a lucky man. Because if I'd not decided to operate, you'd be a cripple to the end of your days. <coughs> Bruno, eh? Maybe he ought to let her in. She's a decent lass. Not back to steal or nothing. Hmm. All right. Well, alone. Which will draw too much attention. I'd rather not get shite from the captain on his account. Here's what we'll do. I'll go in, then help you sneak in around the back. How? Don't know, but I'll figure something out. There usually aren't nearly as many guards on the riverside. Agreed. All right. Let me in.
Are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Grab the line. Where'd you get the rope? <sighs> Long story. But we've done well. Professor Shakeslock's house is at the end of this street. Witch hunters guard the door. Doubt I'll be able to sweet talk them. Been a huge help already, Shani. Thanks. <laughs> it was nothing. Really. You've done the same for me. If you wish to see me again before I go, I'll be at home. Packing will take some time yet. All right. Be seeing you. Is that you? Leave the bed pan in the usual spot. And place the platter. I shan't be eating today. Professor Shakeslock? Who the blazes? How'd you get in? Get out. I know nothing. Don't whisper or anything. Understand? No, no, no. Out! Not gonna hurt you. That demon sent you. I'm sure of it. No one sent me. I may be blind, but I sense unclean powers better than anyone. Why do you think the witch hunters guard me like a treasure? I'm a witcher. <laughs> a mutant. <laughs> yeah. Could be. Came here because I need information. Think you might be the only man who has it. <laughs> a witcher. Then it follows I needn't fear. I'm hardly a post-conjunction creature. What did Olgier von Ebrick want from you? I curse the day I first set eyes upon the man. He appeared at my doorstep one day, offering a sack of gold were I only to find out who Gauntero Dim is and how to get rid of him. I agreed. Such matters are my speciality. And I needed the coin. I pored over countless tomes, delved into obscure incidents and analyzed folk legends. I went so far as to travel to Nilfgaard, the library there, where at last I 
hit upon the mysterious entity's trail. There are records of encounters dating back thousands of years in many cultures under many names, but always as evil incarnate. In this land, we call him Gaunter Odin, at times Master Mirror or the Man of Glass. In deciphering the ancient scroll and point of time, Jal learned a great deal. For example, that he plays with his victims to mock them, and thrives on their packs above all else. Seemingly harmless contracts which drive their party to madness. Old Gibbs signed one of these packs with him. Brilliant deduction. Could you guess why? You must know that he came from a wealthy, influential line. He must have, if the family of his betrothed accepted him. Yet did you know his fortune soured? He himself became an outcast, impoverished. Iris's family, a powerful house, could not accept this, would not marry their daughter to a nobody. All geared wished to elope. The further away, the better. Yet Iris refused to cut her family ties. Quite the predicament. Indeed. Their luck turned yet darker when a wandering witch mentioned a solution. A man who would grant any wish. His name, Master Mirror. The rest follows naturally. Olgird and Odin. A meeting at a crossroads. A wish. A pact signed in blood. And a price to be paid. Olgird was to sacrifice one he loved. Old Dim delights in difficult choices. He knew all he had loved two in this world. His betrothed and his brother, Vladimir. All Gade chose, and soon thereafter married his beloved Iris. His fortune restored. Why was Old Geard out to get rid of Odim? He'd gotten what he wanted. Had he? <laughs> his heart had turned cold as ice. His feelings for his wife, for whom he'd sacrificed his brother, had withered. He'd lost all he'd loved. Had he wanted any of this? No. Odim grants what he wished, not what he wants. All who sign a pact learn the difference and die by it. All? No way to get rid of him? Kill him, you mean? Kill evil? <laughs> no. Yet the annals tell of a man who dissolved his pact by defeating Odin at his own game. Meaning? Odin wields contracts, word traps, duels of wit. Challenge him to such a duel. He'll agree and can be beaten. But remember, there is only ever one stake. The sole thing he truly desires. Human soul. Thanks. Helped me a lot. Good. Very good. Ah, oh, to feel useful after so many years locked up, living in fear. Why, it's pleasant itself.
friends will do. The feat isn't a desertion. Long live Radovid! Pomijając naszą podróż do Lilwanii, spotykamy się już prawie na miejscu. To chyba powinna być ta świątynia. It was a lizard coming. Thing that attacked. How big was it? Well, too big to squeeze in here. It was huge. And those teeth. Ugh, we barely escaped. Wonder if it killed the No, to jest jedna z wiedźmińskich zleceń jeszcze. Z podstawki wiedźmina. Will ye help, Master Witcher? Need to tend to the monster. Doubt I'll have to look far. Wyverns like to herd their prey towards their nests. We'll wait here. Wouldn't want to get in your way. Vile Wyvern. Lucky me. Właściwie na szybko dla rozluźnienia możemy zająć się z zleceniem wiedźmińskim.
the big beginning. Royal Wyvern. Don't usually come this big. It's feasted plenty, I reckon. Attacking those traveling the road. What do they call you, Master? Geralt of Rivia. Geralt of Rivia. It'll be a tale to tell the young'uns. Someone will pay for this trophy, no doubt about it. Samą mody, samą mody branią nagrodę, myślę, że zajmiemy się później. Na razie wróćmy do głównego wątku fabularnego. Strange choice of locale. Guessing there's a reason for it. Wasn't me who chose it. I assume so. But since we're here, I believe you have something for me. Fulfilled the third wish. How do I know this to be the rose? Very well might have picked this up at the Oxenfurt market an hour ago. Look closely at it. Got it from Iris. It was the last thing that bound her to this world. What? was tired of living half alive, half dead. Think she just wanted it to end. Can't blame her. I condemned her to terrible suffering. Iris. What a mess we made of it all. If I'd only known then how it would end. What's happening? I feel as though... As though... The hot irons pierce my chest. Sorry to have kept you waiting. So glad to see everyone is well. How do you feel, Von Emmerich? A little less troubled? Lighter on the heart? Or dim? What do you want? What do you mean, what? Your soul? You forget. The pact states you can take it only once you've fulfilled three wishes and... And we stand together on the moon. Well, what do you know? We had a pact. The moon is there. There! Not here. I gave you what you wished for. Here, on the moon, our contract you fulfilled. Boss, you cheated me. I never cheat. It 
is done. Your soul belongs to me. It's over. We must meet again one day. Business with you is pure pleasure. Gonna remove the brand? Ah, right away. Done. Now, tell me what reward you've chosen. be fast. So fast no one will ever catch me. Hmm. Interesting wish. I think I've just the thing. Take this. Place it on your steed and you will ride swift as the wind. What now? Off to find another poor fool? Haven't decided yet. But I do know if I ever have trouble collecting a debt, I shall turn to a witch. No i to już chyba wszystko z naszej serii opowiadającej o głównym wątku fabularnym dodatku do gry Wiedźmin 3. A teraz czas na materiał ekstra, czyli w skrócie drugie zakończenie naszej przygody z dodatką serca z kamienia. Sam dialog pozwolę sobie lekko przewinąć, gdyż przed chwilą w zamontowanym wcześniej filmiku powinno już być to wszystko Wam pokazane. No i tutaj zaraz będzie scena, w której będziemy mogli wybrać drugie zakończenie, ale żeby nie spoilerować.
what he knew won't. What did you think it would be? Your soul. You forget. The fact stays, you can take your only one if you fulfill three wishes, and... And we stand together on the moon. Interfere with them. Remember what I did to the last Jew who interrupted you. You can have wishes, right? Seems more than reasonable. He must repay his debt. Let him go, and I'll take it on. The cost's mine. Do you wish to give your soul for his? No. It is irrevocable. I lose, you take mine, I leave you. And if I win, you will lose us both. What are you proposing? shall do this my way. Ah, what must happen? He wished to play. So let us play. I shall tell you a riddle, solve it, and both you and all here will be free. And if I don't? <laughs> that would all be so for a wild ride. It's what you propose that is lost. The riddle, and the riddle. To all things and men. Fondle me and ogle me till you're insane, but no blow can harm me, cause me pain. Children delight in me, elders in sight, fair maids who join in sin. Cry and I weep, yawn and I sleep, smile and I shall go to you. You tell me. more when it's the letter. Just remember, you must find me before time can run. Is it about swords that turns men into utter fools who may see them as the sword? Through howling winds, pouring rain, with a light hanging down its blade. 
of which we might have been happy if it were not. Niestety okazało się, że jest to zły pomysł i od im zrobił sobie z nas żart. Better. Yeah, yes. My 
revive something. This plant could revive a corpse. An exquisitely ripe vintage. You know what, though? It's good that Baxter says something reasonable. So, have at it. Tell me what the blade is to tell. Your branch, Doc. Guessing that's a good sign. Again, he decided to have some fun with my expense. Devised a game with his hasty moves. Seems to have forgotten the training we put him through. Redeeming the undoable. Sought only to protect myself. In doing so, I put you in harm's way. Forgive me. You're safe and free. I thank you. Though I've no notion what to do with this freedom now. Mira took everything. Everything of me. All I held dear. Bitter victory. Now at last I sense how much I've lost. I've a heart again. Yet all it feels is grief, sadness and defeat. My life is in ruin. You've handled tougher situations. Can't give you this one up. Got a company of faithful comrades waiting. Got a home, no fortune. No. I cannot live as I did before. So what do you do? I don't know. But one thing is clear. It's time I took faith into my own hands. Lived life anew. In truth, this time. Sounds like a plan. I'll never forget what you did for me, Bitter. I have something for you. <laughs> Don't accept this. You can, and must. This saber's been in my family for generations. Even when I'd lost all else, it remained at my side. Means a great deal to me. All the more reason why I can't take it. Do me the honor. This will mark the start of my new life. And such a weapon could be right useful to you. Thank you. <coughs> Sorry. You needn't be. I thank you again, Sheriff. And good luck on the path. Good luck to you too.